Hey, what's up, you guys? How you doing? It's uh, April 18th, 2023. Don't forget to sign up for uh, a video that we just did. It's uh, the title's like a thousand dollar free vacation, three nights for free in Big Bear. You just have to sign up to the owner's Instagram. It's in the description of that video. Guys, this is the easiest thousand dollar trip ever. It's all, you gotta do that. You gotta hit the like button on this video and be subscribed. It's not that hard. I really wish all of you the, the very best. The owner is just the coolest dude ever, all right? So I hope you guys do that. Go to that video. Make sure you get that done because I'm looking forward to doing this giveaway. Talk to you guys soon. Good morning, everybody. Or actually, good afternoon. It's noon up here in Big Bear. It's uh, April 18th, 2023. And I just wanted to show you guys how little snow remains in this town now probably not going to see much snow on this side of town at all and then we're going to go check out the big bear dam i'm not going to keep it on the whole time just a few clips of it from here to there to there to there <laughs> hope everyone's doing well we've been having some really beautiful weather up here right now according to my car it's 55 degrees and yeah it's uh it's been nice I'm definitely looking forward to some of this warmer weather, but you guys all know that we have chances for for snow all the way through May. And we've seen snow in June up here, not since I've lived here, but um, so we still have possibilities, folks. Keeping my fingers crossed that Mother's Day we get hit with snow. I think three or four years I've lived here, it snowed on Mother's Day, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing well I hate this this time of year because I don't get to make as many videos because there's there's not much content but I'm gonna get things figured out um, I, I really do want to do more of the uh, uh, well just more of this and more of that I'll surprise you guys because it seems like every time I like tell you guys that I'm gonna do something it ends up being on like some of the imitators channels and stuff it's, it's hilarious to me I should feel flattered though but all right here we go I mean guys this is this is this is unbelievable there's just no snow anywhere you'll see some patches from time to time like that a little patch right there but look at how much water is in, uh, um, gosh, you guys, I know I say this every time. I always forget the name of this little area right here. I, I just always forget it. It really is so, I've never seen that much water in there though, ever. It's really awesome. So the lake is filling. Some of the potholes are getting deeper and deeper. They did fix a portion of them. But I'll tell you what, there's there's a, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Coming into town, you guys, on, high, on Highway 18, on the front side, please, please, my goodness, don't tail anybody because you need plenty of time to get out of the way of these. And and some of these are the size of the whole lane. So you, you have to like stop, wait for the other traffic to pass, and then go around it. There are so many cars that are on, 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 on the side of the road with flat tires, you guys. I don't want to see that happen to you. You're supposed to come up here to enjoy yourselves, have a good time, and not have to deal with stuff like that. It's, it's rough. As I said, they did fix some of them. And that's awesome. But I mean, I, I think it was two days ago when I, I drove out of town. I saw um, <clears throat> in one little turnout, five cars. And they all had flat tires. One was a Range Rover. One was a Tesla. Like, 
Like, uh, and I guarantee you these potholes are not any good for your alignment either. I mean, these are... I hit one and I thought immediately I blew out not just one tire, maybe two or three. It felt like a bomb hit the car. Um, but thank goodness we're good. And speaking of tires, I switched out my snow tires. I'm back on my regular tires on in this Subaru. So that's good. So I don't keep on putting miles on the other uh, tires because they're expensive and they wear down quickly. But yeah, guys, look, where is the snow? Obviously, it's, you know, mid-April, so we're not going to have that much snow just lying around the town anymore. said in the beginning of the video guys don't forget that video about the free uh thousand dollar value vacation at our uh a friend of the channel his name is jay <clears throat> he's he's gonna let one of you lucky folks stay in his place for three 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 nights for free you guys but the, the requirements there's there's still a ways to go i thought we would have already gotten there and and we're still only just over 10% of the way there. So guys, please, I really want to give this thing away to you guys. No matter what, we'll figure something out. But still, it needs 2,000 likes <clears throat> in 10 more days. Or 2,000 total in, in about 9 or 10 more days. And it's really important because... Uh, <clears throat> So you just got to go to that video. In the description of the video, there's a link to sign up to the owner's Instagram. That's all that's all you guys got to do is hit, hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and then just sign up to follow Jay's Instagram. And guys, when you watch that video, you'll get to meet Jay at the very beginning of the video. The dude is amazing. The dude is awesome. So I mean, yeah, and for a, a free thousand dollar three night stay, I mean, you might as well. And if you don't have Instagram, it takes a couple seconds to do it. It's not a long, long drawn out process. You just have to sign up if you already don't have it and follow him and then, um, You'll, you'll have a chance to win. So this is the portion of the road that had the worst potholes um, for a while, and they fixed a good portion of them, the really big, nasty ones. And that is in between Greenway and Maple, you guys, in Big Bear City, which is where we are. for a little bit because we're, we're going to go check out parts of Irwin real quickly so we don't need to do the video the rest of the way there and then we're going to go through Baldwin and then go back to the snowiest part of the valley okay so we're on highway 38 this is the route you would take to one of the routes to take to head out of town potholes are not nearly as bad on this route the whole way down my mom came up and surprised me uh, two days ago and this is the route that she takes because I always tell her to even though it's a little longer I find it to be a little bit safer especially this time of year 
when there's no snow because there aren't as many sharp turns there aren't as many cliffs to fall off by the way we're turning into to Irwin right now we're only going to go about halfway and then there's kind of a, a little neighborhood over here that I wanted to uh, see how it looks right now because it's in the shady areas so I, I just wanted to make sure that uh, we, we capture some of the spots that usually get a lot more snow. And as I said, we're gonna be driving through Baldwin also to take a look at the uh, beautiful lake over there. Okay, so we're, we're about a, th a third of the way through here. But we're gonna turn here because I thought this was halfway through. But this street, Willow, actually goes uh, into this neighborhood back here. I don't think we're gonna go into the neighborhood, but we're just gonna go back here a bit just to see what it's looking like. Straight ahead, the mountains look beautiful. Those clouds look awesome. It looks like someone took a brush and just brushed the clouds. It's really pretty. Alright, yeah, so I think we are just about done with, with this part of this place. And then instead of playing it all the way through, yeah, we're just going to turn around here. Usually this is when we'll start seeing some more snow in here. There's just nothing, absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna turn around real quick. Hang on guys. All right, you guys, so we left Irwin and we are headed towards Baldwin. As you guys can see, there's just nothing, nothing on this side of town. Nothing at all. When we get to the Big Bear Dam area, you're still gonna see a good amount of snow. It's, it's just crazy to me. I mean, a good amount compared to this. I mean, any snow, I guess, is a good amount compared to this. But yeah, Baldwin's gonna be Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Little squirrel. I don't want to hit the little squirrel. Glad he got out of the way. Those little incidents ruined my days. They're so cute and so innocent. I'm going to pull over. So this is the interchange or the uh, intersection of uh, Big Bear Boulevard and Highway 38. But we're turning right, which turns what would be Big Bear Boulevard the other direction. This is Shea Road, and we are heading into Baldwin Lake. Such a beautiful day. 57 degrees. This is it's really, really, really pretty out here. Shut it off 
right here until we get further back in the Baldwin. So hang tight, y'all. All right, you guys. Get a nice look at Baldwin Lake. It's got an interesting tint to it. An interesting hue. Be nice if we had this lake permanently full, you guys. That would be so nice. Just to have a beautiful lake on this side of town would just be. And it would maybe entice me to want to move over to this side of town. The only problem with this side of town that I'm not interested in is the really heavy winds that they get most of the year over here. That's so pretty. I know we're not getting the best view of it, but you can kind of get a sense. It really is so pretty out there. Yeah, you're not gonna see any snow in the hills here, nothing. It's, it's getting to be that time of year, guys, where we are about, we are done. Obviously, as I said earlier, we still get snow. Um, since I've lived here until the end of May, there's the potential, but we shall see what ends up happening. One big problem that we do get up here is a lot of people start planting all their outdoor stuff that can't have any freezing weather, and then they'll think that we've we've made it past all the snow, and then we'll get a really late snowstorm, and then it, it'll kill everything. <laughs> it's a bummer for them. It really is. Look at that. It's really, really pretty. Isn't that incredible? So how long do you guys think that that lake's gonna be there? I 
I'm gonna think maybe uh, another month. Once we start getting some warmer temperatures, that lake's gonna be out of here. It'd be nice if we had some sort of a pumping system that could pump it into Big Bear Lake, you know? That'd be a pretty awesome situation. So we're gonna keep the camera on while we drive around the lake, around Baldwin, but then after that we're gonna shut it off until we get across Stanfield Cutoff heading towards a uh, fawn skin. Those mountains that you're looking at out there, those are our ski resorts. Those are the North Shore resorts. And they still look like, still look like they got some good snow up there. Right. Also, we're going to stop and pick up my wife.
shut it off until we get a little further up because no point in seeing all this, right? Anyway, see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, we're up here a little further. Now we are next to that, uh, the, uh, gosh, <laughs> once again, I always forget what this area is called, where we have water on the other side of the, of the, uh, of Stanfield Cutoff. Seriously, I go through this every time with this darn part. I just don't get why I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, this is probably my favorite neighborhood up here. This one in here. They've got really insanely large homes in there and it's situated right in a beautiful little uh, prairie area. The neighborhood's called North Shore East. It's beautiful homes. Also got to remember that we got this side this is so nice to have water on both sides and a lot of these docks are floating now it's so great oh we that is so great all right guys the rest of the trip is gonna be back on North Shore over towards Fonskin we'll see you then all right, you guys, we are back on North Shore. Unfortunately, Rachel isn't feeling that great, so I just told her just to hang back. We can go get this covered. Right there, what the heck's that doing there? Also, those of you still watching that video of the Holcomb where I I didn't make it that video is still or that's back up again the one where I had to drive backwards through like deep deep snow it was so scary but we obviously made it out because I'm here So we're going to shut it off until we get into the fawn skin area. See you guys in a minute. All right, folks, we are entering 
Zephon skin area. Zephon skin area. The neighborhood known as Zephon skin. like a poisonous lake some nasty colors over there this lake is just looking gorgeous I see water run all the way up to right here wow I mean that's just awesome and that looks like a relaxing spot that little beach area right there we need to check some of these spots out this summertime for sure some road crews on the road so we're gonna avoid canyon we are gonna hit canyon one sometime up here i promise you guys it's going to happen all right we're gonna shut it off okay that was nice of that guy not that we were tailing him or anything like that. I'm not in a rush, even though I do got to get back to work. But I run my own business, so it's my hours. Whatever, whatever, I do it on my own. All right, we are in the downtown Fonskin area, folks. And tomorrow we're going to come by and do a video here at the tributary. See how much water is flowing into the lake. Sounds, sounds like it's still going pretty good. Yeah, boy. into the eagle habitat area and you'll start seeing more snow over here now guys we are getting to the part of town with more snow this side doesn't see a lot of direct sunlight as i've told you guys often so that's why you'll see these these big old patches of snow over here still but yeah we're we're driving right by the eagles as a matter of fact i'm gonna slow down by the sign there's no one behind us, so I'm, I'm not impeding any traffic. But yeah, so look. Closed eagle habitat area. And then another one. This is awesome. This is awesome. That, that was a bald eagle, I think, that just flew right in front of us with a freaking mouse in its mouth. Guys, did, did you see that? There was a white head on it. White hair. White feathers. Tatanka. 
Did you guys see it? I don't know if that was a bald eagle or not, but it looks pretty awesome. If so, you guys are not going to believe this, but that would be the first time I've seen one flying here. <laughs> wow, that, I can't wait to go look back at that. Over here guys there's just hardly any snow on this side either as you can tell this side is it, it's wide open so you you'll get a lot of sunlight here it's just amazing to me how fast our snow melts up here when you look at that side it still looks like a, a winter haven over there next part of the road when we get to the dam that I'm going to focus on for you guys is the potholes. It's really important that you guys follow along with that for those of you who are coming up here. Because it is, there are some that are really, really bad. patch of snow look at that it's still a foot deep <laughs> that's crazy you can see the tire marks in it it was deep just so pretty over here the contrast from no snow on this side of the hill to all the snow on that side of the hill as soon as we can make it we're gonna be going behind the dam show you guys what's going on back there show you guys how much water still to this day is constantly flowing out of there if you guys want to see that i have another video i think in in the playlist where i went to the dam uh, behind the dam so you guys can actually check it out what we're looking at over there is a bunch of clouds blocking off snow valley ski resort and i think snow valley closed two days ago but yeah here we go this is uh it's going to be pothole central and once we're done with pothole central then uh we will end the video because we basically did the main tour of the valley 
All right, so we're gonna go really slow just so we can get you guys some, some good views. Some are not so bad, but you still wanna avoid them. Oh, it looks like they passed these couple right here. Wow. And this one, good. That must be like today. Okay. Just so we can go slow. Or not? He's not. He's not coming. Jeez, Louise. Still a nice amount of snow right there. That's beautiful. There's a good pothole right there. Remember you guys, I haven't I just drove on this yesterday and the big ones were still there so hopefully they've taken care of them that one was taken care of wow okay after a thousand flat tires but hey at least they got it done those two got done wow I'm interested to see if they got the really big one This little guy, yeah, guys. This was this had to have all been done today. We got these ones. These ones were killer right here. Wow, guys, this is great. They didn't get that big one though, or these big ones right there. But the monster is coming up, where you literally have to go out of this lane. There it is. See, that guy had to go out. Okay, so this, guys, that cone hasn't been stopping anybody. So please understand, these are these are deadly for your car right here. I mean, deadly. All right, that's, there's, there's another good size one right there. So some of these bigger ones, they, they haven't gotten to, but they have taken care of a lot of them. So good on them. Some, some more huge ones right there. Well, cool, guys. We're going to go over the middle of this one. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying the ride. That's going to be it for us today once we pass Boulder Bay. No more ice in there. It's amazing how quickly the ice melts, right, guys? It's just a beautiful bay now. It's so high. This is so awesome. All right. It is April 18th, 2023. And uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the ride. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're staying safe, staying healthy. Thank you guys for always cruising. Never forget, we have a lot of imitators, but I'm the OG. No one can duplicate what we do, at least the way that we do it. So hope you all, once again, have a safe rest of your day, safe rest of your week. And thank you for all the support always. Sorry Rachel couldn't be with us today. She's not feeling good. And so I hope a lot of you sent some some, some kind thoughts our, our way for her. Thank you. And uh, we will talk to you later. Bye.